And the way that I like to optimize my life every single day is by being conscious of what I call the five P's of self mastery. And the five P's of self mastery is there. They are the tenets that I live by and I'm constantly thinking about them. And by focusing on each of these five P's, maybe one at a time. And then once you build up habits inside of each of them, you can use them conglomerately. If that's a word, it sounds really good, but you can use them together in order to make progress faster from where you are to where it is you want to be. If you even just focused on these five P's after leaving this live broadcast today, you would make incredible progress towards what it is you were looking to achieve. And the first P is something that we've been talking about a lot today and something that we talk about a lot all the time. You have to have a plan. At any given point in your life, you have to know where it is you're headed. You have to know your vision. Without a vision, the people perish. That's a quote from the Bible, right? This is something that's been talked about for thousands and thousands of years. So again, I've asked you four times throughout this live broadcast alone, but what is your vision? What is it that you are making progress towards? What is it that your life is going to look like in one year, three to five years? What would you love your life to look like in 10 years, in 20 years? Obviously, you have no idea what it will look like at that point, but what if you curated that vision in your mind right now? Imagine if you created that vision and in 10, 20 years, your life did look like that. And shoot big, go big, right? Don't think small, because what if I told you that whatever you wrote down on paper that you wanted your vision to look like, what if I told you that that reality would come true? Well, just be careful what you write down because it very well might come true. You have to have a plan. You have to have a vision like we talked about earlier. Now, once you have that plan, once you have that vision, a lot that determines the quality and the speed at which you're able to get to where it is you want to get to and set a goal and achieve a goal comes down to your own personal power, which is the second P. It's your own personal power. And your power comes down to two different places in your life. Your power comes down to the thoughts that you're experiencing on a daily basis. Fix my flip chart here. It's the thoughts that you're experiencing on a daily basis. Are your thoughts on a daily basis more positive thoughts? Or are they thoughts that bring you down? Are they thoughts that cause disempowering emotions? Or are the thoughts that you're experiencing pumping you up? Are you thinking thoughts of abundance, thoughts of you can do this? Are you thinking thoughts of if I'm just patient and I continue to follow these steps, I'll be exactly where I want to be. What are the thoughts that you're practicing on a daily basis? That's one of the elements of power. And the other element of power is probably the first one that came to mind for you, which is your physical power or your levels of energy. And the way that you move your body will determine your levels of energy. The way that you move your body and the way that you walk, the way that you talk, the way that you intentionally take care of your body will determine the levels of energy that you have on a daily basis. Very rarely do I meet people who are in great shape who don't have high levels of energy. I'm not talking about the people who are getting ready for giant fitness competitions because a lot of those people are starving themselves. They're not taking in enough water intentionally. I'm talking about the people who are functionally fit. I'm talking about the people who walk each day. I'm talking about the people who go to the gym a few times a week, three times a week. I'm talking about the people who put, who place intention behind their physical fitness. Your levels of energy and power will determine how the rest of these five P's work together. That's the first two P's. Now, once you understand those, now we can start to think about the question of what am I here on this earth to do? What are my talents and abilities that I can use in order to help other people? But also, what is the unique story and what are the unique experiences that you've lived in your life, that you've learned from? What are the lessons that you've learned that you can give to people who are going through the same exact thing that you went through just five years ago or even one year ago? 
The third P is what is your purpose for being here? Now, you don't need to go off and start a business to live your purpose. You can live your purpose and help other people who were where you were just one year ago with your fitness or your emotions or your finances. You can help them in your community. You can help them at local clubs. You can help them by getting on a live broadcast and broadcasting to them all around the world. You can live your purpose at your job, right? Your time and your labor is the most valuable thing you can give anyone. So what if you could derive more meaning and more purpose from what it is that you're doing on a daily basis at your job? And you might be saying, Brandon, I don't like my job, right? Brandon, I'm thinking about going somewhere else, but let me ask you this. How does your job tie into what you're good at? How could you be the best at your job? How could you be the best at what it is you do? so that you can help more people. Because your purpose always ties in with other people. To reach the max level of happiness that you can reach, you have to help people. And I think you'd agree that the moments when you're most happy, you didn't get something, you didn't achieve something for yourself, you helped somebody else achieve something. Or you performed an act of kindness for somebody else. Your purpose has to do with you taking your skills and abilities and your story and using it to help other people in your community, your family, on social media, or at your job, in your business, whatever it might be. Your purpose is the third P. Now, once we've got a plan, once we're practicing the routines and the rituals that will give us the power that we need, once you align with your purpose and ask yourself, how can I live my purpose today? That leads us to the fourth P, which is surrounding yourself with other like-minded people who are ahead of you in the game. We're not looking for friends who are below us, right? We can, we, we want friends like that so we can help them to get to where it is we are, to offer them support, to offer them guidance, to offer them a listening ear but you want to not be the smartest person in the room. You want there to be a lot of other smart people there, okay? You want to feel uncomfortable at times with the group of friends that you're spending time around because that means that you have a lot to learn. And if you can surround yourself with smarter people, they're going to elevate you to their level. You are the average of the three to five people that you spend the most time around. So who are the people that you're spending the most time around right now, okay? It might be your family. It might be the friends that you had from high school, right? It might be a destructive group of friends. But the people that you surround yourself with will either help you toward your goals or they'll detract from you making progress toward your goals. So a great way to determine the quality of the circle of friends that you have is when you leave the presence of the friends you're spending time with, Do you feel elevated? Do you feel better after spending time in their presence? Or do you feel drained? Do you feel low energy? Do you say to yourself, why did I even just spend an hour or two hanging out with them? If that is the case, you gotta find yourself new friends to hang around with. And at times, depending on what it is you're doing, you're gonna feel lonely. You're gonna feel like there aren't a lot of people. That's why people is the fourth P. Because it's important that you have these things down, the plan, the power, the energy, aligning with your purpose. It's, imp- it's important that you understand these things first so that you can attract the right people into your life. And once you have these four Ps, it's all a matter of building momentum. It's all a matter of making the fifth P, which is progress. And now that you've got these four Ps on lock, you understand them, you're practicing them, you're assessing your progress in each of them, now it's just time to be aggressively patient. Time will pass, but the aggressiveness that you have and the focus that you have towards your goals will cause you to make faster progress towards the vision that you just created for yourself at the beginning of this broadcast. So once you place a focus on all five of these P's, you're going to be in a great place. 
because you're going to run into challenges, but you understand that those challenges are actually there to help you grow. They're there to help you improve.